Hey Hooper, welcome to day eight of our 14 day on body hoop drill challenge. You are getting stronger. Here are my tips. Practice in the opposite direction as much as you can. Make sure that you're always warmed up. Give yourself plenty of time to stretch and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Not only are you sweating and breathing and expelling lots of hydration when you're hooping, but you are also going to feel the benefit of flooding your system with clean, pure water because it's going to make everything lubricated and yummy. Okay, down below in the description box is all of the details of this challenge. If you missed the seven day workout yesterday, then pick that one up and remember that you're a rock star and you will get all of these eventually, but you must play, you must practice. So today, real quick tip right here, we are going to see if we can coil, keeping one on the waist and then taking the other one all the way up to the chest and the neck and then onto one hand. Easy, you say. <laughs> Two in the same direction, keeping the pulse in the belly, making movement above the hoop, taking the chest towards the sky, pulsing with the chest. When the gap opens up at the front, we take one arm down and show me your nails. So now the hoop is on my right armpit and my left neck, trying not to be choked. Then when the gap opens up at the front, that is the hoop hits my left side neck. I'm going to bring my right arm down and out, keep them here. Whoa, this is a weird rhythm. Keep the neck soft. Then the next time the hoop comes around and hits my front neck, I'm going to take the knife edge of my hand and I will take the hoop straight up. That is just one of the many ways that you can take the hoop from the belly to the hand. And then check it out, straight back down, strong push. Whoa, that was kind of wonky. Let's go again. Just practice time. Ready? Hand, hand, hand. Yes. I recommend practicing this outside if you can. And let's go thrust. Bring those hoops back together. Strong feet, wiggle above. One, two, and off. Are you ready for one minute? Let's go. So let's see if we can practice this three times in one minute. We can do that. And if you want to do more than one minute, then you can practice a four or fourth or fifth or... You get it. So, strong belly pulse, grounded feet, pelvis tucked under. Movement above the hoop. Suck the belly button in. Hand, hand, up and off. What happened? How did you go? Let's try for a second time. Practice makes perfect. You want to make sure that your posture's in alignment, so no massive swinging wild movements. That is going to be not so safe for your body. All right, let's try again. Strong movements. Bring those hoops back together. If they're splaying, huh. you got it. Yes, 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 yes. Hand, hand. One more time, we can do it. Quicken the belly pulse, bring it up a little higher. Drop this hoop down and on if that feels okay, or you can simply catch your hoops. We're just practicing. We've got one minute, we can give ourselves that time because we're amazing. Up, up, up. Belly button towards the spine. Pulse with the chest, shoulders back when they're ready. Gap at the front, arm goes down. Gap at the front, arm goes down gap at the front and pushes up. You're amazing. I'm going to see you tomorrow for our day nine drill.